All right, we're looking at a particularly nice 82 here. This is, of course, a Crossfire car. Now, this car is mostly original. Uh, it was actually owned by one of our mechanics here. Uh, it's got 78,000 original miles on it. Of course, being owned by one of our mechanics, this car runs extremely well, particularly for a Crossfire injection car. Fairly rare color here. Um, they did a lot of two-tone colors in '81 and '82. They had so many colors to choose from that a lot of these schemes were ended up being pretty rare. Uh, got the original dark blue leather interior here. Uh, just a little bit of wear on the seat covers. Uh, steering wheel looks really good on this car. Don't see hardly any wear on that. Uh, door panels are very nice. Carpet shows a little bit of fading, but not bad at all for an interior color. This, like this, usually these fade. Uh, looks like we've got the original tape deck there. Uh, being an 82, of course, this is an automatic. Now, this was the only year on a C3 that you can get a four speed automatic. And of course, it's carried over to the C4, but of course, this car is pretty much loaded. It's got power windows, power. Uh, power locks, remote mirrors, uh, and it's also got a power driver's seat which is not working at this time. But, uh, also got cruise control, rear defrost, glass t-tops, the aluminum wheels, tires are brand new. The paint looks pretty good on this car. I don't see any chips or scratches anywhere that are really obvious. Stripes still look good on it. A little bit of fading on this front emblem, but not a big deal. It was usually fairly inexpensive and really easy to replace. Have a look under the hood here. Pretty much stock, pretty much as it left the factory. Of course, you got power brakes, uh, air pumps still on there. You don't see that too often. Most people just take those off. But, uh, it's pretty much as it left the factory. You got the AC compressor there. Decent little car.